It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Tennessee Titans and the Washington Commanders. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 25. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League finds us a dozen miles east of the National Mall at the home of the Commanders here in Landover, Maryland. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here in the booth. Partner, these are a couple of teams that struggled a year ago, finished out of the playoffs. They were under 500, but that's what you love about the NFL. A new season brings renewed optimism. Absolutely, and really, Mike, a lot of new faces at critical places. I mean, there is a lot of new pieces to the puzzle here, both coaching staff and the roster of players. They believe last year is over. They do not think there is any correlation between the squad they're planning to put on the field today and that one that we saw really go through some growing pains and struggles just a year ago. All right, we're just about set for football. The crowd is definitely ready. So are we. Off we go on EA Sports. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Titans coming up with their quarterback, Will Levis. Good performance last year. Taken early in that second round in the 2023 draft. Greg, this quarterback out of Kentucky could be the future for Tennessee. I always like studying quarterbacks in year two. I think rookie year, there can either be a lot of growth, right? There's the biggest ability to take that jump, but there's also some struggles you have to work through. In year two, a full offseason, really understanding the playbook. Things have kind of slowed down for you. I feel like year two is a really good indicator of what long-term success looks like for any young quarterback. He'll get this complete. Nick Westbrook Aquino. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. As a route runner, once you identify zone coverage like they were playing here, the key is find open space and stay in it. He did a nice job here because that was not a big hole. Quarterback had to put a little extra on that one, and they were able to make the completion. Second down, he'll fake the handoff and hold on to it. And this is going to be a Titans first down. Good running. Gets him to about the 44. Sometimes, Mike, the best plan is also the simplest plan. And for this team, just snap the ball to your quarterback, let him find some daylight, and go get that first down himself. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. They'll run it with Tony Pollard. And drawing some oohs and ahs from the crowd. Sidestepping his way. Nifty gain of nine there. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. A good spot here, second and a yard. Off the play fake, it's Levis. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Tyler Boyd was the intended target for that one. And it's going to bring up a third down. On the bootleg, it's Levis. He's got his tight end. That's a conquo. A pickup there of 13. First down for Tennessee. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. 
but the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Now a handoff to Pollard. And he'll get back to the line of scrimmage at best. Might have even lost a yard there. With how fast they were all over that play, you almost wonder, Mike, was there a pre-snap tell? Did they know that play was coming? Because I'll tell you, that defense was on it from the start. Play eight of the opening drive coming up. And now they face third down. Now Levis. Little short pass here. Caught by his tight end. And he's going to pick up the first down. He knew where that marker was and made sure he got beyond it. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design. Sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Get into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Second and seven. Up the middle, here comes Pollard. And he will get forward for about five yards. That sets up third down. The motion man is Boyd. Out of the shotgun, Levis. He pulls it in around the five. And the Titans are going to have first and goal coming up. They're able to convert on third and two. Now, this is how you dream up the opening script. You get the ball first, and you want to go down and set the tone for the rest of the game. Well, it looks like the coaches did a great job when they built that script during the week. With that big time throw they got a shot now with first and goal to end this opening drive with a touchdown it is brought in in the end zone Tyler Boyd touchdown Titans a terrific way to start this one not only a touchdown but a nice long march down the field makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense Mike that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively to be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown that is a dream start for this offense the veteran Nick Folk here for the extra point he's got it and the Titans will take a 7-0 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return Noah Igbenogany now an opening past the 30 a good return as he takes it across the 30 the commanders come out with the man they hope leads them into their new era Jaden Daniels the number two overall pick in this past draft from LSU Greg this the man who won the Heisman Trophy with the Tigers in Baton Rouge a year ago and even though he's just a rookie Mike I think it's safe to say Jaden Daniels he is one of the most dynamic athletes that we have in the entire NFL at the quarterback position and on top of that he's not a one-dimensional player yes he's gonna make splash plays with his feet and he's gonna make some highlight real plays but he is a quarterback he can make every throw he's got great arm talent if he can continue to find the balance between those two aspects He's got a chance not to have just success today, but he has a chance to have success for a long time in this league. Second down and eight. 
Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Oftentimes, it's the wide open ones that are the hardest to catch. It seems like the ball is in the air forever. You start overthinking it. You start really making more of it than what you should, and you let it slip away. On third down, they'll throw with Daniels. He's got a man. It's McClure. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. And this is what you can do when you have one of the best receivers in the game. You understand that even if the coverage is not perfect for the play call, sometimes it's just as simple as my guy is better than your guy, and we're going to just keep giving him a chance. First and ten. They run over center with Robinson. And he'll work his way down inside the 40. The linebacker, Jerome Baker, there to make the play. Here's a second and six. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. Over the middle, he's got McClure. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. Jaden Daniels, you look at his time at LSU, Mike, and he certainly had great wide receivers to throw to. But now being a rookie quarterback and having the veteran presence of a guy like Terry McLaurin, that is such a comfort for any young quarterback getting his feet under him in this league. On the option, here's Robinson. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's second and six. They'll go again with Robinson. He'll get about three, and that's going to lead to third down. Third down, three to go. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. That is caught back corner of the end zone. Deami Brown. Touchdown, Washington. And what a response by this offense. It's not easy taking the field, Mike, for the first time in the game, and you find yourself already down a score. They watch their opponent kind of march down the field and score on the opening possession, and they're able now to go out and square it on up. And before the try, remember, it is a touchdown. All scoring plays are reviewed. So replay will confirm this one before we do anything else. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Remember, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear, incontrovertible visual evidence to the contrary. In other words, it's got to be the truth. So, ruled a touchdown originally. They didn't find any reason to overturn it, and it stays on the board. Zane Gonzalez on for the point after. He gets it to go, and the Commanders come right back to tie it at seven. Each team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 as they kick it off. Now return coming from the 7. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there.
three tight ends in the game to start the drop. They'll give it to Pollard to start this drive. And they'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. It was Jeremy Chin that time up to make the stop. They'll come up on a second down and eight. They'll run once more, and it's Pollard again. And he'll bring this across the 30-yard line. It's a pickup of four. Here's a third down and four. From the gun, it's Levis. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. The key to good route running, Mike, is deceiving the man covering you into thinking you're doing one thing, and then you change it and do the other. And in this case, he had the defender thinking this was a vertical downfield route, and then next thing you know, he gets to his break point, he breaks in, and that ball's put right on the money for a big pickup. They go play action with Levis. His throw on first down is going to be incomplete. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. On play action, here's Levis. The ball deflected at least a couple of times, but it'll fall to the ground. It's incomplete. There's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. And that is incomplete. This offense has to find a way to be better on first and second down, Mike. Living in these third and long situations must pass is not a recipe that their offensive coordinator wants to operate in. So on fourth down, the Titans turn it over to Ryan Stonehouse to punt. Alameda Zacchaeus deep to return. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. The drive will begin here with a run by Robinson. And some good running there. He'll fall forward for about seven. Here's second and three to go. Another run here for Robinson. And this will be a short pickup to about the 30. Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there on the stop. Here's third down and a few inches. From the shotgun on third down, Daniel. And he will have the commander's first down. He has it by plenty. They keep the drive alive here on third and inches. Third and inches, you see a lot of teams try to take a shot. Why, Mike? Because they know on fourth and inches, they still have a chance to convert the first down. The shot wasn't there, but they're still able to pick up a nice gain and convert and bring up first down. On the give, it's Robinson. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. 
Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and 10. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? On second down, it's Daniel. Here's a ball thrown deep right sideline. And he will go all the way. Luke McCaffrey, touchdown commander. A beautiful combination in the air there. The pass downfield and bringing it the rest of the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And it's really just a great route, Mike, and then a beautiful throw. The accuracy of the throw is what allowed the receiver not only to secure the catch, but then be able to turn it up and finish the play and find himself in the end zone. The extra point is good. And the Commanders will move out to a 14-7 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. This one taken at the seven. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. The drive starts. It's a carry by Pollard. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. A second down throw here for Levis. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. A tough spot here. Third and long. Off play action. He'll set up to throw. And they will continue to go backwards. He's taken down for a sack. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, but now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now, as he'll have to hit it from his own end zone. And good coverage by the puck team. They stop him before he can get any return cranked up. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. To throw is Daniels. A throw left side caught by Sinek. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. They face second down and seven. They'll throw with Daniels. 
And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Really nice job there by the defense defending the middle of the field. That is the most valuable real estate on the field. They know every single offense is trying to attack the defense between the hashes. So give credit. They took away all the throwing lanes, and that ball falls incomplete. That ball is caught on the sideline, and both feet inbounds. A big third down pickup for a first down. These third down conversions are just so important, Mike. Everybody stresses we want to possess the ball, give our offense as much opportunity to end as many drives as we can, scoring points. So if you want to stay on the field, you better be good on third down. They'll come up here first and 10. They keep it in the air. Here's Daniels. That is brought in at the 10. And he will get into the end zone. Luke McCaffrey. Touchdown, Washington. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. What an opening quarter he is having. Greg, that is two touchdown receptions here in the first quarter. Mike, all this guy has to do is keep this pace up, and he's going to have himself eight touchdowns. But in all <laughs> seriousness, if I'm this quarterback, I'm not looking anywhere else until this defense proves they have an answer because right now, they don't have one. Gonzalez now for the point after. It's up and through. And the Commanders will take a 21-7 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. This taken at the five. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. to throw on first and ten looking middle of the field it's complete and he's going to get this to the 37 yard line it's so early in the game you have to be careful now as coaches and players that you don't find yourself trailing early and get out of your game plan there is so much time left stick to what you've worked on all week there's plenty of time to chip away and see if you can make this thing close come the fourth quarter on first down Levis. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. It's been a bit of a pedestrian game for this quarterback and ultimately this passing game here today, Mike. And I know they all would have loved to connect on that deep throw. I think that stat sheet would have looked a whole lot different, but just a little off in their execution and leads to an incompletion. On play action, he'll set up to throw. The coverage too strong that time. The ball batted away. An incomplete. Now that's two straight plays now where this secondary has won their matchup. And right now the offense needs to find some plays that just call for easy completions. Get your wide receivers in space. Allow them to run after the catch. Because right now these downfield passes, the defense is all over. He's going to look for the home run ball. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. I'm not going to sit here, Mike, and throw the guy a parade for ultimately what was an incompletion. But can we just take a second to appreciate the arm strength he was able to show there? I mean, I think that ball is over 60 yards in the air. And I would be surprised if they continue to just air it out and see if they can complete one of those. 
Here comes the number two overall pick, Jaden Daniels, with the rest of the commander's offense. And he has come out of the gates hot. He's been on target with his throws, and that's reflected in those numbers as he'll look to keep it going here. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Robinson. And he'll work ahead for about five to the 25. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. The training staff going to look and will step out for a moment. They'll come up here on second down and five. First carry for the versatile Austin Eckler. And he'll pick up two out to the 27. They'll come up to third and three. They'll go play action here with Daniels. And he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a sack and a loss of a couple. There's a ton of time left in this game. They don't need to feel like this is desperation mode, but they do feel the urgency to get stops. And that sack's going to go a long way to getting them off the field here. Continue to come away, giving up no points. Give the ball back to your offense and see if they can start chipping away. On fourth down, the commander's going to send out their veteran Tress Way to punt. Jaquan Jackson is back deep for Tennessee. And he'll be brought down. Short return. And they'll take over there. From the 35, it's first and 10. The motion man is Boyd. They run it straight ahead with Pollard. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. So after one, it's the Commanders with the early lead. And EA Sports NFL Sunday returns after this. They'll come up now for second down and four. To throw is Levis. He'll look middle here, caught by Boyd. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game, all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch, and it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. Set to go now on first and 10. Levis to throw. That's deep. Looking for Boyd. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. And this is where the speed of your inside receivers are so critical. He lines up in the right slot. But, Mike, look how far he covers to where he ended up receiving that ball. You can't have all day. Those defensive linemen, they are coming after your quarterback. So the speed in the slot is critical. That's a great example why. Line of scrimmage is the 15. It's first and 10. 
Levis. Connecting with his tight end, Okonkwo. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. They'll run here with Pollard. And the Titans are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass. And I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. Out of the shotgun, Levis. That's to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. You have to come down with those opportunities. You're not going to get your hands on the ball very often as a defensive player. And when you do, let alone in the end zone, those are plays you just have to make. Line of scrimmage remains the four-yard line. It's second and goal. Off the play fake. It's Levis. To the back of the end zone. He's got it. Tyler Boyd. Touchdown, Tennessee. His second touchdown of this first half. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start in this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer because right now they don't have one for this guy. Folk now for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Titans draw closer here. It's 21 to 14. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Austin Eckler now to return. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Daniel's going to keep this himself. He's going nowhere. Losing yardage on that play. The decision whether to keep the ball or to hand it to the back happens so fast. In this case, the quarterback thinks it was a keep read. The defense was there ready to stop him. Tackle for loss. Daniels to throw on second down. That one complete to Brian Robinson. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. It is third and ten. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. Oh, he's got a man. That's caught by Brown. And he'll be taken down all the way up past the 45. Third downs, Mike, those are quarterback downs. Those are the downs where you tend to find yourself in a must-pass situation, and that's where the top guys in the league are still capable of overcoming it. So throw the ball downfield, be accurate with the ball. Winning on third downs, that is a recipe for success. It's a give up the middle to Robinson. And that's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. He 
Here's a second and three forthcoming. Here's a toss left side for Robinson. And he'll work his way for about four yards. That's good enough for a first down. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. Man in motion is Brown. Woo! And he'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. Boy, some bulk in the formation on that right side here for first and ten. Here's Daniel. That one broken up. It is incomplete. They tried the shot on first down. Couldn't connect. It'll bring up second down. So I like the aggressiveness of the call, but as the rest of the game unfolds, Mike, there needs to be better overall execution. A little bit cleaner, and next thing you know, they're going to hit some of those big shots. On the give, it's Eckler. He'll take this down to the 23. Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there on the stop. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. Working out of the gun, it's Daniels. He's got his tight end. There's Ertz. And he will not quite get to the marker. Good job there defensively. And now, decision time. What are you going to do on fourth down? I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision to make. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this will be returned from the six and he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28 yard line fresh set of downs to work with it is first down and 10 from the gun it's Levis a very quick throw there but not on the same page with his target that's incomplete I think the biggest issue and why they find themselves trailing in this game Mike has really just been the ups and downs of this passing game and sometimes he's highly accurate and efficient but at others he just misses too many easy throws question is are they going to be able to overcome this quarterback inconsistency and pull this game out and that's going to be incomplete coverage was good that time the contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down even though it doesn't result in a sack when you dial up the right pressure at the right time Mike sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion the timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target and the ball falls incomplete. And that is incomplete. Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender. And you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete. But if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. Oh, 
that could have broken for a bigger return but as it is nice job getting his offense a start out past the 30 yard line the commander's offense and Jaden Daniels ready to take over once more and he has done everything you could ask of him coming into this one he spread it around hasn't taken many chances and potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football on first and ten here's Daniels pass downfield is caught by Brown a nice throw by the rookie from LSU and he's got his team a first down didn't take them long to get now to their opponent's side of the field. I like the idea of starting this drive with some explosive pass plays. That's going to open everything up, both underneath in the passing game and on the ground. So big play to get this drive off to a fast start. On the handoff, it's Robinson. And he'll take this forward only to about the 46-yard line. Second down and eight. And here comes Robinson on a toss to the right. And he is not going to get away. Might have gotten a yard, but it will set up third down. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. He's got a man, it's McClurin. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. First and ten. Ben in motion is Brown. On the ground, it's Robinson. And the Commanders are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. The offensive line doing a great job opening these run lanes. They have been there this entire first half, and... I think if I'm this play caller, until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away, I think I'm just going to keep turning around and handing it to that guy. They'll run here with Eckler. And he'll plunge forward to the two, setting up second and goal. A little closer. Here's second and goal. The motion man here is McClure. And he won't quite get in. Down to the one. Setting up third and goal. They'll try to run with Robinson. And he will fight his way to the end zone. Brian Robinson. Touchdown, Commanders. So on third and goal, they run it in. Sometimes, Greg, that's four down territory. They didn't need to do it on fourth down. Taking care of it on the third down for the touchdown. Yeah, and when you find yourself down here this close, Mike, you have to finish these drives off. I'm with you. I think he was going to give his back two shots there to punch it in, but he only needed one. Now Gonzalez to add the PAT. His kick is good. And the Commanders add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead.
Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. From the six, here comes a return. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. Here's first and ten. To throw is Levis. It is caught. It is Westbrook Akine. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. We've really seen both teams have a lot of success moving the ball throughout this entire first half. And just seems this possession is going to be more of the same as they start this drive. On first and ten, here's Levis. He's going to get it to Okonkwo. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards but do it after the catch. On second down, Levis. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. It's been a rough first half, but now as we approach halftime, Mike, you got to start getting some wins. And it could be something small like we just saw here. Some positive plays, build a little confidence on that sideline. So as you go into halftime, you have something to build on. Levis to throw it here on first down. That's to the sideline where he finds Boyd. You can see the eyes of the quarterback. He's trying to push this ball initially downfield, but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. Now Pollard... And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. Number one rule of run blocking for the offensive line is you don't want to allow penetration. It just doesn't give your running back any angles to cut and find the hole. It's exactly how it played out here. They've got to do a better job holding the line of scrimmage and not getting pushed back. And that is incomplete. You just can't say enough about how hard it is to play cornerback in today's modern NFL, Mike. I mean, not only are these wide receivers better than ever, but the way the rules are written, you're really out there on an island with not a lot of options. Your technique has to be perfect. Your timing has to be perfect. It's exactly what we saw here, and he makes a great play on the ball. Folks' kick is good. And the Titans are back within two scores. And when you find yourself down double digits, you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals. It does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit, but they've got to find a way to score touchdowns. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Returning is Igbenogany. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. There's Terry McLaurin and the commander's offense heading out for their next possession. And it may be time for this defense to start throwing a second defender at him, maybe? Look at what he's done. Whatever the defense has tried the first half, it hasn't worked. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Daniels now going to look to throw. He's going to run it. It's a gain there of 26 yards. There was a lot of questions surrounding this quarterback about whether his style of play from college would transfer to the NFL game. Well, his ability to create with his legs certainly has here today. 
We see it with his ability to escape pressure out of the pocket, and he's able to pick up the first down. To throw is Daniels on first and 10. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average. And frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. He's going to tuck it and go. And he'll be hauled down at about the 35-yard line. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. He'll give it to Eckler on the option. And he'll be taken down as we tick down to the two-minute warning. So two minutes to play in a back-and-forth first half. We'll be back just outside the nation's capital after this. Throwing on second down, Daniels. That is hauled in at the five. He is in. Olamide Zacchaeus. Touchdown, Washington. He has done it again. That is four touchdown passes in this first half. Greg, he might skip halftime with the way he's performing right now. Yeah, Mike, this passing attack is just really unstoppable. I mean, it is just remarkable the success he's been able to have. We're not even at halftime yet. He finds himself on record pace. I can't wait to see what he does the rest of this game. Gonzalez now for the point after. He knocks it through. And the Commanders tack on one more to their lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. The return starts from the five. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. Levis to throw on first and ten. He'll look middle here, caught by Boyd. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. He'll come to the line now on second and two. Levis to throw. Right back to Boyd. He's got it again. And he's going to have the first down as he gets out of bounds. And he stopped the clock as well. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch. Get the ball out of his hand. See a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. Open man downfield, it's Boyd. And he'll be out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. A gain there of 27 yards. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor, and every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. If I'm this coordinator, I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six.
on first down. Levis. He's got his man on the in route. Yes, taken in over the middle. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. The thing that jumps out to me the most, Mike, is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression. So hats off to the play call. Him and the quarterback seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes, and there is a lot of room to operate. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. Well, if you're going to target him in the end zone, you better come correct, man, because this guy, he embraces those moments of one-on-one -on -one coverage when it matters the most, and I think he just saved six by getting his hands on that one. Throwing on second down, Levis. Got his receiver on the in-cut. He's got it. He brings it down to the five-yard line, but now it is third and goal. Out of the shotgun, Levis. That is caught. Trying to reach for the goal line, but he's going to come up just short. Wow, it's going to set up fourth down. They can still pick up a first down here, and they'll line up to go for it on fourth down. They'll try it now with Spears. A dive, and he's in! Kajay Spears. Touchdown, Titans. So they decide to go for the touchdown, and Greg, they get rewarded on fourth and goal with the six points. Yeah, I think the safe bet there is you settle for the field goal, and you're happy coming off the field with points. But not this play caller. He rolls the dice a little bit, but give credit to the offensive line. They created just enough of a lane for this back to take it in for six. Folks, extra point is good. And the Titans are able to edge a bit closer. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. Here's Eckler on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The commander's offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And he's had things all his way in the first half. Those numbers are sensational. And he looks to add to them with another drive here. first down Daniels gets it away quickly and it's caught and they'll be set up now up past the 40 with that one Now Daniels throwing on first and ten. Oh, a lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around, but it falls incomplete. It's always a risky decision anytime a quarterback tries to force the ball, especially into those tightly contested areas. Not a lot of daylight, not a lot of room for error. In this case, it just falls simply as an incomplete. But as this game unfolds, better decisions are going to lead to better results. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. 
You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. On third down, they'll throw with Daniels. Quick throw, taken in. Now whistles. Timeout, three seconds left in this first half. Give, and here comes Robinson and he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play all right Mike we'll take it from there as we welcome everyone into our EA Sports Studios and our halftime report what a treat to watch the rookie in that first half the number two overall pick Jaden Daniels he was on point repeatedly ultimately finishing with four touchdown passes in those first two quarters alone. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go, and the second half is underway. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The commander's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he's been as good as advertised. Take you through some of the highlights. Four touchdown passes on point with his receivers right throughout and continuing to master running and executing this offense. The drive will begin here with a run by Robinson. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. Coming off that edge, Mike, you have to quickly determine, is this a pass or is it a run? And once he realized it was a run, he's able to shed his blocker, make the play, no gain. They'll go again with Robinson. He looks forward for maybe a yard. And it's Murray, the linebacker, there on the stop. They need eight as they come up for third down. From the shotgun, it's Daniel. He's got his man right side. It's complete. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. And another great throw. And I'll tell you what, Mike, so far today, this certainly does not look like a rookie quarterback. I mean, he is in complete control of this offense. He'll get this out wide. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. Hook him up on a second down and eight. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. Quick throw here is complete. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Third and a yard.
third and a yard. It's Daniels. He's got the first down, not by a whole lot. Only well, gets three. That's all he needed for a new set of downs. Really just comes down to everybody understanding the situation. You realize, how many yards do I need to get for the first down? And just make sure at least one of my receivers is past the sticks. That's where he went with the ball, and they're able to convert. It'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Just watch the speed of the pursuit out of this safety on this tackle, Mike. His ability to play from depth and attack the line of scrimmage and meet that ball carrier in the hole and keep him to no gain. You don't see a lot of safeties able to make that tackle in the open field. That's pretty impressive. On second down, it's Daniels. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. They need to get to the 22, but now face the third down. He's got a man. It's McClure. 17 yards that time for number 17. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem, and plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there, and that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. On the move at the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. Man in motion is Brown. They run over center with Robinson. And that'll be a pickup of three. Second and seven. This one caught at the four. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. We hear the term RPO so often, Mike, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent. The lineman cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a lot of really fast snapshot decisions. And he will take this one across into the end zone. Jaden Daniels, touchdown Commanders. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him, and in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. The extra point is good. And the Commanders will extend this third quarter lead. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return here's Tajay Spears and he is stopped at the 25 the drive will begin then they'll come up here first and 10. From the gun, it's Levis. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. 
perfect throw and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. The motion man is Boyd. Out of the gun, they give it to Pollard. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. Mike, I have to be honest. When offenses come up with run play designs, blocking the corner is not really a big priority. But in this case, great job. Not only forcing it on the outside, but defeating the block, coming up and making the tackle, and keeping it to no gain. Again, it's Pollard. And the defense there to meet up. They'll hold them to two and bring up third down. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. This one's going to be taken in over the middle. And he will have the first down. The drive will continue after a pickup of eight. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground. And they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. To the left side in the hands of Boyd. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. On the ground, it's Pollard, and he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back? But not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. From the gun on third down, here's Levis. It is caught. It is Westbrook Akine. And he's going to be taken down short of the marker, and that is going to set up an interesting fourth down decision. It came up a little bit short there on third down, but I think the reality is, Mike, they've been in four down territory for a while now. You find yourself down multiple scores. You cannot afford to waste any of these possessions. He'll get this into the hands of Ridley, complete. He's going to pick up a Titans first down as they wind up getting 13 on fourth down. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. And the Titans are going to have a first and goal. Some good running there gets them down to about the two-yard line. A huge advantage to red zone offense is the ability to run the ball. In this case, I thought he was going to score. He takes it all the way down inside the two, sets up first and goal. They'll run here. It's Pollard. And that big offensive line clearing space. He's in. Tony Pollard. Touchdown, Tennessee. We were talking during the break, Mike. We felt that this was kind of a do-or-die drive. They felt like they needed to come away with a touchdown here, and now they're showing a little life. Yeah, a little, little bit of belief, don't you think? Everyone on that field knows they've been a part of a comeback before. It's a pretty big mountain, but a good way to get started here to begin this half. Now, folks, on for the extra point. The kick is good and the titans are able to cut into the deficit
both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Here's Eckler on the return. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The commander's offense ready to see what they can do. As we look back at some of the highlights of this one, you'll see a lot of them, Greg, coming from the passing game. They've done a nice job picking the defense apart. Yeah, and I think that's the right way to say it. It hasn't necessarily been just a bunch of deep shots, a bunch of explosives. It's been more methodical. It's been precise. They've really been all over their execution, and this is about as close to a complete performance as you're going to see from any offense throughout the course of this season. They'll start on the ground with Robinson. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. Pretty much just more of the same from what we saw with this back in the first half. And he doesn't need much. He gets a little bit of space, and then he can create the rest. It's the combination of patience, vision, and then the burst to hit the hole once he sees it. This guy's been a handful all day. Off the RPO, they'll get it to Brown. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. The timing of these RPO concepts, that's the entire key. Remember, Mike, in the college game, they get a three-yard window that they're allowed to be downfield even on a forward pass. That's not the rule in the NFL. These decisions have to be made quickly. If not, even after a good pickup, you could be coming back due to a flag. They just rush that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage, but... I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. Third and short, and it's Daniels. Oh, he's got a man. That's caught by Brown. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one-on-one -on -one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play, understand where the holes in the defense are, and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do. Throwing on second down. Daniel. Firing right side. Brought in by Brown. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. To the air again is Daniels. Right back to Brown. He's got it again. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but... A good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. Second down and three. Daniels going to throw again. That's into the hands of Zacchaeus. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. An unbalanced look to the left here on first down. Off the bootleg, here's Daniels. And that is caught in the end zone. He's in. Terry McLaurin, touchdown, Washington. And he continues to remain on fire. That is a rare NFL day. Five touchdown passes thrown.
And Mike, at this point, the defense just looks completely lost out there. I mean, they have no answers whatsoever, giving up the fifth touchdown pass of this ballgame. Now Gonzalez to add the PAT. The kick is good, but there are penalty flags down. They might have made contact with the kicker too late. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. And this one is fielded in the end zone, will not be returned, so it'll come out to the 30. Set to go now on first and 10. They send Ridley in motion. On first and ten, here's Levis. That's to the left side, caught by Ridley. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free and gains nothing. Well, let's give the defense a little credit here. You talk about read and reacting quickly. They recognize the screen right out of the jump, and he's able to beat the blocker to the spot and keep him to no gain. Drop play. Here comes Pollard. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Anytime you run a draw, you're hoping the linebacker reads pass and starts dropping into his pass coverage. That's what creates space for your running back to get going. Well, not this time. The linebacker saw it from the jump. He's able to penetrate in the backfield and take the runner down for a loss. That's caught. It's Westbrook Akine. And it'll be taken down, but it takes them across midfield down to the 40-yard line. Mike, it just seems like certain games each week just align for matchups like we're seeing today. Just two quarterbacks trading blow for blow, putting on a show for their respective teams. Let's see if he can finish this drive off with another touchdown following that big play. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. Levis with a give to Spears. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. They send Ridley in motion. Throwing on second down, Levis. He'll look middle here, caught by Boyd. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. These hitch routes, they're usually just designed to pick up a few safe yards. An easy completion, get some rhythm for your quarterback. However, this time, he's able to make a little magic happen after the catch and turn it into something much bigger than even they were probably anticipating. They send Ridley in motion. Levis to throw it here on first down. He's got it inside the five. And he will score again. Tyler Boyd. Touchdown, Titans. That is his third touchdown of the afternoon. And that is the hat trick. What a game. His third touchdown reception of this one. And nothing they've done to slow him down has worked, Mike. This defense, they're throwing multiple guys at him. They're playing man. They're playing zone. It doesn't matter. This guy is having his way, and he's having a day. Folk now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Titans are able to edge a bit closer.
Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here's Eckler on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The home team's offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. To throw is Daniels on first and ten. A throw left side, caught by Sinnott. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Here's Robinson. <laughs> And they'll bring him down, but not until he gets to the 38-yard line. It's too early at this point, Mike, to really start thinking about the clock. You definitely don't want to go into a shell. But now this is the point in the game where having a good ground game really starts to take over. You throw to get the lead, but man, once you get it, that ground game, that's what finishes the game off. On the option, here's Robinson. And it'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So back and forth they go as we are through three. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. A good spot here. Second and a yard. Slot man in motion left. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. And it doesn't appear that he got to that first down marker. They'll only give him a yard, so it'll set up third down. Daniels now going to look to throw. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. That might end up being the backbreaker right now. This defense desperately needed to get off the field and give their offense a chance to cut into this two-score lead. But instead, they now got to defend a fresh set of downs. And as you look up at this clock, they might be running out of time. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Operating from the gun, it's Daniels. He runs with it. And he'll gain yardage and able to get down at the end of the play. Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions. And he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there picks up some good yardage and gets down on the ground on second down it's a run with Robinson now they are in business inside the 15 yard line and this running game has really been rolling Mike all game long the holes the run lanes they've been there consistently here's another nice run as they look to put this game away Space getting tight here, down to the 13-yard line. They work first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Daniels. Quick throw, taken in. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. I really like the balance that they've showed so far on this drive, Mike. And what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game, everything looks the same there's no tells so they can't afford to just dial up certain schemes to take away a run a good blocking and he's in Brian Robinson touchdown commander that is second touchdown of the afternoon Greg that's one of those scores where it's not completely over but 
it's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. Gonzalez now for the point after. He's got it. And the Commanders will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this will be returned from the six he'll get this up to the 28 yard line nice place for the drive to start So they come to the line for first down and 10. Out of the shotgun, Levis. A throw right side taken in by Boyd. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead and... The age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. Marshawn Lattimore all over that. Gets a hand in there to knock it away. And the success of this play, Mike, all comes down to the timing of the defender. You get there a little bit too early, you risk pass interference. You get there a little too late, it's a big pass completion. Timing your hand and playing through the ball is something they work on with these defenders all the time. And next time they throw the ball downfield, I wouldn't be surprised if they target somebody else. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. He's got his man. That's Boyd. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. Everyone talks about all the physical qualities to play quarterback in the NFL, Mike. And, of course, that's a given. But it's really the cerebral approach to the game that separates the best from everybody else. And I think both of those things were on display there. As he did not only a great job of finding the vulnerabilities of the back end, but then once his guy was there, it was that arm talent that put the ball in the exact right spot to allow his guy to make the big play. First and 10, and they give it to Pollard. And he's going to be taken down. Well, this is the advantage to having a really effective passing game, Mike, as the defense now tries to adjust to stopping you through the air. It's a lot easier to mix it up and run the ball. There's a lot less defenders in there trying to stop you. A couple of big plays, one after the other, and now it's first and goal. He pulls it in around the five. Here now, second down and goal. Now Pollard. And he'll get three yards here down to the two-yard line. And with that run, Mike, even though it brings up third down, it still keeps this offense in what they call a 50-50 downs. It means with the down and distance provided, you can call a run or a pass, and both are equal threats. And that's what makes it so hard for these defenses to defend those situations. They'll try and run. Here's Pollard. And he's going nowhere. Met and dropped behind the line. And now it's fourth 
and goal. Just feels like this has been the story of the day for this offense. Just unable to get anything going on the ground and a big reason they find themselves trailing and another loss of yards. Field goal not going to help much at this point. They've got to go for it on fourth and goal. That is hot. What a job on the scramble. Nick Westbrook Akine. Touchdown, Tennessee. Well, Greg, the light's still on way down at the end of the tunnel here. They are climbing back into this one with that touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And they have a tall task ahead of them, Mike, but they have a chance. I mean, we've seen stranger things happen. Mm. They got a two-possession game here late. They're going to need a couple stops, and they're going to need a couple things to bounce their way. Now, Folk, on for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Titans are able to cut into the deficit. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. Returning is Igbenogany. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. So now out comes the offense led by their quarterback as they take over once again. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Throwing is Daniel. He finds the veteran Ertz. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. They'll run with Robinson. And he's bottled up after a gain of a yard. Here's a third down and four. From the shotgun on third down, Daniel. That's a dozen for number 12, and he's got a first down as well. An interesting decision there by the play caller to put this ball in the air. Mike, you're up by two scores. Traditional wisdom says, hey, we're up by two scores late in the fourth quarter. We've got to keep this clock moving. You don't want to risk an incompletion. Now, they convert. They're able to secure the catch and pick up a fresh set of downs. That's going to enable them to continue to burn more clock and... Without a stop, their opponent's not going to get the ball back. And he's close to a first down. It's a gain of nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Just take what the defense is giving you. When you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath, hitch routes, quick game, now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. Throw to the right flat. It is caught. And he's not going to get away. They'll knock him back to his own territory. They get him on the other side of midfield. Man, what a big time play here by the corner. It feels like he knew that play was coming before the ball was even snapped. You can see he sticks his foot in the ground and bursts. He ends that play before it even has a chance to get started. That's out to Brown. Right side. Complete. As a play caller, those are the plays that just drive you crazy, Mike. 
You think you're going to pick up the first down. You get tackled just shy of the sticks. And now, a little bit of a gamble here on fourth down. The Commanders about to send this one away. As they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. They'll run here. They'll gain 17 on that one. A very quick first down. Well, a really nice start here to the drive. Early down success. Every offensive coordinator is trying to find ways. How do we pick up first downs without having to get to third down? We see it here. Big explosive run. Now the rest of the drive unfolds. On first down, Levis. Ah, oh, the ball's out. But this is taken in by a teammate. Sometimes these games in the NFL, Mike, they get decided by simply how the ball bounces. I mean, how often do we see a quarterback in the pocket get stripped sack, and that ball ends up going the other direction? Fortunately for them, they can regroup, get back in the huddle, and live another day. Ball falls into the hands of his own guy, and they'll see if they can dodge this bullet. On second down, Levis. And a good job rallying to the football, holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. From the gun, it's Levis. To the left side in the hands of Bull. A pickup of 14 on that one. That's good for a Titan first down. Okay, so now you pick up that first down, Mike, but now there needs to be a sense of urgency. You know you need to score twice. So this one, ideally for the offense, results in a touchdown. But either way, this first score of the two needed needs to be fast because you need every possession you can here late in the fourth quarter. Levis to throw on first and ten. Right back to Boyd. He's got it again. Seemed like the receiver, Mike, ran through like five different open zones, but once he found the one that he liked, where the quarterback was expecting him, you see him do a nice job throttling down, secures the catch, and he's able to pick up a nice game. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and in inches. Levis to throw. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. You don't need much. It is third and inches. They'll stick to the ground. And he will have a Titans first down. Maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. I think everybody in the stadium saw that run coming, Mike. But good luck stopping it. I mean, all he really had to do was just fall forward. And it would be enough to pick up the first down. Levis to throw. There's that man again. Another catch. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Now, Levis. This throw, right side, taken in by Ridley. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. They'll run. 
He's to the 10. And he will score. Game on. Tony Pollard. Touchdown, Titans. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? Folk now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Titans will cut the deficit to seven. So, things a little more interesting now. Back to a one-score game as they kick it away. Here's Eckler on the return. And he'll be forced out of bounds, but a very solid return. The offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum, on point with his passes, Generally, one step ahead of the defense all game long. From the 35, it's first and 10. He'll get this out to the left flat. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Here's a second and three forthcoming. We'll give it to Eckler on the option. And he'll bring this up to the 48-yard line. And that's a first down. Slot man in motion right. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back for the conclusion in a moment here's second and six it's a give up the middle to Robinson he's going to be taken down at about the 30 so right out of the two minute break we get a timeout used by the defense with a minute 56 to go Here's first and ten. Ben in motion is Brown. On first down, right back to Robinson. A gain of four as he's taken down. And now at 152, the defense will pull the plug there as they take a timeout. Here's a second and six. Another run here for Robinson. And he'll only manage to pick up three yards. And that leads to third down.
They'll drop to throw. He's got the veteran Zach Ertz. Ten yards the gain on the pitch and catch. First down, Washington. And that first down should all but do it, Mike. With only one remaining timeout, the defense just can't stop the clock enough. Got to imagine it's victory formation, and we're a couple kneels away from this game being over. The defense still with all three timeouts at their disposal as the quarterback's down to an E. So it's a win here for the Commanders. They got out of the gates hot, ran out to the big first quarter lead, and did not look back as they cruise in this one. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The Commanders are winners, as we say so long from just outside our nation's capital.